Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of 15 Minute Builds. And in today's episode, we're going to be building this garage, which is actually kind of taken from a build that most of you have probably never seen, uh, a mansion that I've been working on. But anyway, we're going to be building this garage, three-car garage, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. So uh, not doing anything too fancy in the inside. We're not putting any cars in it, but it's got some skylights. It's got some lighting in here, things like that. So that's pretty much it. And I'm going to go ahead and get right to building. Let's put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take some quartz pillars and bring those up five high. Just like that. Is that right? Or is it six? Six high. We're going to bring them up six high. Like so. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pillar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pillar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pillar. So we're going to have three spaces and four pillars. Go ahead and bring those up. Six high. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Then we're going to count one space and place a pillar here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a pillar. And we'll bring that one up. Six high as well. Go diagonally, leave a space, pillar, and then just line up the additional pillars with the ones across the way. Like so. Is that right here? Yes. And there good good okay and once again count that diagonal and count the diagonal just like so okay so pretty straightforward so far then we're gonna go here all the way to over here and we're gonna put down a sandstone floor which will give us this kind of nice, fairly smooth texture, which is what we want. Here, we're going to bring up a line of clay and go from here all the way over to here with clay. And I'm using clay because it looks like concrete to me. So that's what we're doing. Do that all the way over to here like so. And like so. Now, right here, so just on the other side of this pillar, we're actually going to do another row of clay, just like that. So we'll end up with something that looks like this. Pretty straightforward, okay? Now we're going to knock out some holes. So one, two, three, four to here. And we'll knock out room just like that. We're going to do that in all of these doorways. Oh, oh, whoa. Undo. Set air. There we go. Derp that one up. There we go. So we'll have something that looks like this. Pretty easy so far. Okay, now the next step is we're going to work on the garage doors themselves. So right here, we're going to just put down any block and we're going to bring over horizontal pillars like that. And then we'll knock out a little window right there. We're going to do the same thing right here. And we want the lines going horizontally. 
That gives us kind of the appearance of a garage door, which is what we want. Now this one is going to be a little bit different. So right here, we're going to put pillars on the inside. And then right here, we're going to bring that across like so. In the middle bottom of all the doors, we're going to put a little tripwire hook. And in these closed doors, we're going to put some cyan glass window panes, just like that. Now, here, at this level, so one below the top, we're going to go around the entire build and put down some upside-down spruce stairs, just like this. And then, once we hit here, we're going to go back the other way and put down upside down spruce stairs as well. Just like this. There we go. On top of that, one block up, we're going to go around and put a layer of spruce slabs just like this. And this is gonna give us just a little bit of extra detail, a little bit of highlight which is going to make the build stand out and look better than just a stereo, just a simple garage that's made up of a couple of garage doors. It's the little details like this that make a huge difference. So that's what we got so far. And it's looking pretty good. It's coming along, but it's certainly not done yet. So now we're going to go up right here to all the way over here. And we're going to cover that in spruce planks, just like so. Around the edge of that, we're gonna take spruce slabs and put another layer on the bottom half on the outside, just like you see here. And, oh, moving a little too fast. There we go. So, that's what the garage looks like so far. Not too bad, not too bad, right? It's coming along. Okay, now right here, and right here, I don't know how well you guys can see right now, but we're gonna try and fix that. I'm gonna put a redstone torch back there and right here, and a lamp here and here. That'll give us a little bit of light to work with. And then we're gonna add an additional layer of spruce right here in the ceiling like that see how that came down one more okay now lining up with the garage doors we're going to knock out a spot there and oh nope just kidding here to here Uh, no. Am I too far away? Maybe I'm too far away. There we go. There. So we should have something that looks like this. And we're going to do that for all of the garage doors. So we're going to end up with something like this. Should make sense. There we go. Okay. So pretty straightforward so far, right? We got our skylights partially in place. Now around this lower layer of the, sk the uh, skylight, we're going to put upside down spruce wood stairs. And we're going to do that for all of these. And for some reason, this seems really framey right now. I don't know why. My recording software is saying I'm getting a solid 30 frames, but it seems a little choppy to me. Hmm. Don't know what's causing that. It's not the shaders. I'm running a computer that's more than, ha more than capable of handling those. I don't know. But anyway, once we got these spruce stairs in place, we're going to come up top and directly surrounding these, we're going to lay down some spruce slabs just like this 
around the uh, the outside of these skylight areas. And the reason we're doing that is we want to create kind of an, a, the, the window pane-like effect where the windows are kind of inset a little bit. But as you know, Minecraft does not have vertical or horizontal, I should say. It does not have horizontal glass panes. So the only way to do that is to add some additional depth on a different layer with the glass panes. So, see how that looks like it's still inset, which is what we're going for? That's what we want. And the same is true here. It looks like it's set in a little bit. Uh, so, very, very good. This is good. Okay, now, I want to extend these driveways a bit. So we'll go back to the sandstone. Like so. And then we'll go here to there. And there to here. There we go. We got our sandstone going. And let's go maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe about here to all the way over here. So it'll look something like this. And then, just for some detail, we can look at adding maybe some leaves around here, bushes, whatever. Actually, this looks like something you would find in a mansion. So I think we should probably make it very clean and orderly. Something like that, maybe. Just extending a little bit. So everything looks like it's neatly trimmed and all that kind of good stuff. Something like that, I think. That looks good. Okay, now... Since we're talking mansion, maybe we'll take a minute and add a little bit of a fountain. Uh, grab a bucket of water. Grab some... Where are my prismarine lanterns? There we go. And maybe... Maybe like right... Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it here. Okay. I'm going to put down some more sandstone. All the way over here. And then right here, we're going to make ourselves a little fountain. So we're going to kind of hollow out an area like this. That looks good. And let's clear that out. We'll do this part of it by hand because we want to hide this stuff. There we go. Now, what would look good underneath there? Maybe a prismarine brick, actually. I haven't really done a lot of building with the prismarine blocks at all. But for the bottom of a fountain, I think it makes a lot of sense. So let's go with that. Let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then here, let's go like this and we're just going to replace oh yeah whatever we're going to replace this part with stone half slabs and we're just going to bring it up just a little bit just a little bit just enough that it has that depth Depth is so important in so many ways. It's what really separates good builds from great builds. There we go. So now we've got a circle. That's that's not that's not that that's not a circle. Why is why why you know be why you know be circle? Um okay. Let's fix it. Let's fix it and let's fix it quickly. Um here, sandstone. Oh, no. Uh, undo. <laughs> JK, just kidding. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. how can I fix this quickly? Uh, there to here. Like so. And actually what we really need is this inner part. 
Oh, man, I'm so not going to have time to finish this fountain, am I? Um. There. Like so. I guess we will not make the uh, walls of the fountain out of anything other than sandstone. We'll just do this. And let's bring... Uh, let's put one prismarine block there for light. And we'll put a fountain up here. And then we'll fill up the rest of the fountain like so. And I'm going to call it done at 15 minutes on the dot. So there we have it, guys. A nice fancy mansion garage. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.